the legacy of that shield is complicated. something to get behind. They need the symbol. So what's our plan? So no plan. Great. that cyborg brain of yours. You don't want to know. Oh, yeah, I can see it working. Gears turning. Oh, they're malfunctioning. They're on fire. God, I hate you. Moving to our next series for Disney+, Plus, which launches this coming March, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier features two recognizable superheroes last seen together in the final moments of Avengers Endgame. Sam Wilson, AKA the Falcon, is played by Anthony Mackie, and Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, is played by Sebastian Stan. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is a cinematic experience. It's a Marvel Studios movie played out over six episodes. And now here for the first time is an exclusive look at the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie. This is gonna be my new Marvel Falcon and Winter Soldier trailer. We have episodes coming up really early in 2021. So I'll explain what's going on with the release date, the episodes, and how this crosses over with the movies and the other bigger stuff in Marvel Phase 4 and Marvel Phase 5 that it's setting up through Mutants, the Weapons Plus program, Weapon X. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. I'll do a Disney Plus giveaway when we get ready for episodes of WandaVision. That's gonna be the first series to release in January. Falcon and Winter Soldier is gonna premiere March 19th. So there'll be a couple weeks break between the end of the WandaVision episodes and the finale and the beginning of Falcon and Winter Soldier because they're still finishing the editing and post-production on Falcon and Winter Soldier episodes. But as you can see from the trailer footage, there's gonna be lots of Easter eggs for all the Captain America movies, obviously, because it's a Captain America-based series going back to Marvel Phase 1, the Super Soldier program, becoming the Weapons Plus program via Thunderbolt Ross and all the Hulk movies. We get a really good look at their new costumes, and if you guys didn't know, Florence Pugh's Yelena Belova Black Widow is supposed to show up during the series. She's also supposed to be featured during the Hawkeye series, which makes sense because Hawkeye, Black Widow characters kind of go together, and she's becoming the new version of Black Widow. They're sort of passing the mantle during the course of the Black Widow movie. And as you see them travel to a bunch of different locations through the trailer, one of the other really cool Easter eggs for upcoming movie they just announced is the Fantastic Four movie, if you can believe it. They go to Latvia during this series, so I'm not expecting Doctor Doom to show up or anything like that, but it's them just laying the track work to do the Fantastic Four. If you didn't see it, I just posted my Loki trailer video. There's a lot of that similar Fantastic Four Easter eggs in the background going on during that. So like the Fantastic Four won't show up during the Loki series, but they're laying a lot of track work for King the Conqueror, who is a big character to the Fantastic Four because he's Nathaniel Richards. He's the descendant of Reed Richards. So it's them just doing a lot of Fantastic Four stuff in the background before they actually release the movie. Thankfully, Marvel revealed that they are making a brand new rebooted Fantastic Four movie. They haven't announced the cast yet, but it's being directed by Spider-Man director John Watts, who's done all the MCU Spider-Man films, probably because there's going to be some Spider-Man crossover with Fantastic Four. Everyone start getting hyped for the amazing Bagman in the MCU. But the Falcon and Winter Soldier trailer starts with the same museum display from Captain America Winter Soldier that featured all the Captain America classic costumes, the Howling Commandos, and the history of their teams from World War II. But now it's Falcon visiting it and he's looking and you see all the modern Captain America costumes because since the Avengers Endgame ending scene of Captain America coming back and passing the shield to him, he's effectively retired. But old man Cap is still alive. He hasn't died or anything like that. 
When Falcon says the legacy of the S.H.I.E.L.D. is complicated, it's a reference to a bunch of different things. The series is going to feature a ton of different characters who at one time in the comics wore the mantle of Captain America and used the S.H.I.E.L.D., but I believe in this instance he's referring more to the Isaiah Bradley stuff. So Isaiah Bradley is the OG Captain America right after Steve Rogers' cap disappeared in the ice in the first Captain America movie. This scene of them just hanging out at this house down in the south just seems like them chilling out after the ending of Avengers Endgame. Like, they just want to lay low for a little while. I believe all this stuff is taking place around Madripoor, which is an island in the South China Sea featured in the X-Men comics. There'll be a few X-Men mutants easter eggs, but that's mostly going to be the Weapons Plus, Weapon X program stuff, and some of the locations that show up in the X-Men comics. I'm not expecting the new Wolverine to be featured or anything like that. All this is really just early Marvel Phase 4 stuff setting up and influencing what's to come next, which is all the big mutants and X-Men stuff. When you see that squad of Justice soldiers spelled with a Z and Bucky's talking about the world being upside down, things being really complicated, I believe this is probably something related to Thunderbolt Ross, the World Security Council, because most of them look American. Someone blows up a lab near a bunch of shipping containers. The lab is probably a reference to the super soldier serum someone is able to bring back during the series. The super soldier serum itself, or a version of it, the newest version, is one of the MacGuffins of the series. Somebody is able to resurrect the super soldier program, and it becomes a big threat. So that's just one aspect of the series. Flag Smasher is supposed to be one of the main villains next to Baron Zemo. So obviously we see Baron Zemo during the trailer, but I believe this girl, who will probably seem familiar, that's wearing the mask with the handprint on it, I believe she's either related to Flag Smasher or she herself will wind up being Flag Smasher. The whole thing with that character is that Flag Smasher is this classic Captain America villain who's all about tearing down world governments with the idea that it will bring the world together in common cause under a single banner. The comic book version is kind of silly, so I'm assuming they're toning it down just a little bit and changing it for the MCU version. The whole thing with Baron Zemo, though, as you see during the footage, like you see Bucky talking to him, obviously they have a complicated history together. I believe that Baron Zemo is slated for their eventual Thunderbolts team up, so my assumption is from the footage and the way they're portraying the character, just the way he's coming off, is that through the course of the series, Baron Zemo will wind up helping them stop Flag Smasher, and in the process, Thunderbolt Ross will offer him a chance to knock off some time from his sentence by joining the Thunderbolts eventually. Then you see Falcon getting his new upgraded wingsuit while they're just hanging out, and Bucky trying to get him to answer the hero's call, convincing him to take up the shield like Cap wanted, talking about being the same type of symbol that Cap was for people to get behind, while they're also showing you the footage of US agent Captain America being rolled out in this big celebration. I've already done a couple videos about the US agent version of Captain America, so technically the shield is the property of the US government, and Thunderbolt Ross wants a new quote unquote symbol, but one that he can control, a new Captain America that will do whatever he tells him to do, and that winds up being US agent. But if you've seen any of the behind the scenes footage, US agent is kind of like the stabbier, darker version of Captain America. The scene of Baron Zemo seems like he's standing at a monument to Sokovia, probably thinking about his dead wife and child, wearing his trademark purple outfit from the comics. He does wear the purple hood from the comics as well. We get a big montage of action scenes. We see Winter Soldier on his new bike. They did tease that they would reveal some of the other special abilities that his vibranium arm has that Shuri designed for him. They said that during Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, there was a whole bunch of stuff that it does that we just never saw because they never had time to get to it. Then you get that funny scene of them on the plane together, Bucky saying, what's the plan? No plan? Great. Awesome. As they jump out the back. Then they just show off a montage of Falcon trying to evade all those missiles in the canyon using his new wingsuit, just kind of showing you what he can do because they have much more time to spend on it. Then after a montage of a bunch of fight scenes, they get that funny tag scene of them just making fun of each other like Captain America Civil War, just being two dudes. Falcon referencing Bucky's cyborg brain, which is a nice callback to Black Panther and Shuri helping deprogram all of his Hydra brainwashing and commands. So I believe when the series picks up, as of the ending of Avengers Endgame 2, all that's gone. He can't be controlled using the red book and the commands anymore. And even though she's not really featured a lot during this trailer footage, Sharon Carter came back for the series. Emily Van Camp is a pretty big character. She'll be helping them out take down Flag Smasher. So just a reminder, Falcon and Winter Soldier episodes starting March 19th, there'll be six episodes total. They're calling it a mini-series, so I don't know if there's going to be a season two or not. Same thing for WandaVision, but supposedly they are going to do a Loki season two. They haven't completely revealed all those plans, but there'll be three to four of these different series per year. 2021 is going to have four of them, so it'll be WandaVision, then Falcon and Winter Soldier episodes, then 10 episodes of Marvel's What If series, and then Hawkeye episodes at the end of the year. 
but if you spotted any big easter eggs that I didn't mention during the video just write them below in the comments. I'll be doing more trailer videos for the Marvel Phase 4 trailers they dropped this past week and the Star Wars Disney Plus trailers for the upcoming stuff like Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, Hayden Christensen coming back as Darth Vader, the Mandalorian Ahsoka spin-off series, so as long as you have alerts enabled for my channel you should see all those videos when I post them. Everyone click here to rewatch my Loki trailer video a billion more times and click here for my full Mandalorian season 2 episode 7 video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe, I'll see you guys tonight.